Okay, friends, um, this is a recap for some of you who weren't in class um, yesterday, being the 30th of uh, July. So we were able to install and create a wallet using token packet. Okay, so I'm just going to just use a few minutes to recap this to you. All right. Now, um, first of all, um, you have to go to your app store. Or Play Store to get Token Pocket installed. Okay, so you wanna you wanna go to your Play Store to get Token Pocket installed. I don't know why am I? Okay, this is up. So search for Token Pocket. All right, and then find it in the app application. All right and install is this one exactly this is the icon token pocket wallet crypto DeFi. okay so what since we have it installed already we'll click on open now we had earlier created a hd wallet so i'm just going to delete this hd wallet all right i'm going to impute my password to delete the wallet so that i can create a new one so while i'm creating i'm going to explain to you the difference between hd wallet on um, token pocket and other different wallets okay so I'm just gonna impute my password all right so having successfully deleted the wallet okay now when you open your application for the first time this is exactly what you're gonna see okay so you have two options I have an account and the second option is um, create now that is I don't have an account create now so if it's your first time as a new user, you want to select create now. Okay. We just select this button here and we'll say create now. All right. Now the wallet we want to create now is a HD wallet. As we go deeper into the lesson, we're going to see how we can create multi-signature wallets and a key power hardware wallet. Okay. But the one we want to focus on creating now is the HD wallet. Okay, the HD wallet, this one. So if you look here, in addition to creating the HD wallet, we could create wallets on different networks. Okay, if you want to create on a single network, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance. Now the difference is for each of these networks that you create a wallet for, all the tokens that are going to exist on that network are going to only be tokens that run on the network. So, for example, Binance Smart Chain. Okay. For example, Binance Smart Chain. If we select Binance Smart Chain, for example, it means all the tokens, including USDT, uh, what? Um, Tron. Um, BNB, of course, Bitcoin, BTC, all these coins are going to be on the Binance network. And the Binance network uses BEP20, BEP20. Okay, so all the tokens and coins, no matter how many they are, they're going to be using one address because it's on the same network however we would choose to create a hd wallet which is a wallet that gives you access to almost all the networks we have here 41 of them okay now i prefer a token pocket because it appears to be more secure it has a lot of security features like you know multi-signature wallet there are lots of wallets which you can use okay so I'm just using this as a demo uh, for you, okay? So now let's go ahead and hit our HD wallet to create. So you wanna set your wallet name. So the wallet name I used before was student test wallet, okay? So I'm just gonna keep the same name, um, student test wallet, okay? And I'm gonna put a password now. I'm gonna put a very strong password like I used before, I'm gonna repeat the same password. 
So like I told you, when you're creating a wallet, use a password that's very strong. However, bear in mind that the password is simply to have access to the wallet on your device, which means no matter how strong your password is, the moment you compromise or you make public your private key, uh, your recovery phrase, then the person wouldn't need your password to access your wallet. Straight away with the recovery phrase, he or she can have access to the wallet, okay? However, nevertheless, endeavor to use a strong password when creating your wallet. So, so I'm gonna put mine in a moment. Okay, I'm going to repeat the same. All right, so I'm going to check on the box here. It says I have read carefully okay so I'm just gonna check that and heat create wallet now we're in the process of creating a wallet and we have a few reminders here okay now it's important to read this information don't just skip over it it's telling you first of all okay the assets are controlled by private keys and uh, secret recovery phrase so once leaked assets can be controlled by others do not leak private keys, rec secret recovery phrase to anyone, including us. That's a warning, okay? Now it says transcribe the secret recovery phrase correctly and save it in a safe place. Do not transmit or store it over the network. Exactly the point. Never save your private key on cloud, okay? And then the wallet password is only used for encryption and encryption of your private key and secret recovery phrase, okay? The wallet password is only stored on a mobile phone. If you forget the password, you cannot retrieve it. So with the recovery phrase, you can retrieve that wallet on a different device, all right? Or you could uninstall the app, uh, install it again, and access it using the recovery phrase. However, if you um, lose your recovery phrase or leak it let someone else have access to it then your phones actually is compromised so there is nothing like changing my recovery phrase okay i want to change just like you change password to your account you want to change recovery phrase no that is not possible with cryptocurrency or with blockchain wallets okay and last but not the least very important do not take screenshot of private keys and secret recovery phrase to avoid being intercepted by malware very important now having understood all of these instructions we'll go to understood now three disclaimers if i lose my secret recovery phrase my assets will be gone do you agree yes i agree if i share my secret recovery phrase to others my assets will be stolen of course it will be stolen it is my responsibility to keep the secret recovery phrase safe. So yes, it's my response. So we're going to check those three and next step. So here we have the recovery phrase for our newly created wallet. Now, like I said before, most people would just want to click and screenshot this immediately. However, I shared that it's not best practice to screenshot your private key never ever do that okay so instead you want to write it down on a piece of paper okay you want to write it down on a piece of paper so I'm just gonna write down mine now give me a moment all right so having written it down I'm gonna say completed backup verify it now now remember when you write down your private uh, your recovery phrases, always write it clearly. 
so that you can come back to what you've written and be able to know okay this is what i wrote so now you write something you're thinking oh is it a, is it a p or is it a d or what what it was it so you don't want that kind of situation okay so you click on completed backup verify it now and want to put it just the way we've written it down okay so the first one was want second one was endorse third one was amused where's amused right here um crane easy wheat crane easy wheat and example fun hockey example fun hockey and inmate for seal cluster inmate for seal cluster so that's what we have and we say confirm all right so we have successfully created our first wallet and backed up our recovery phrase by writing it down on a piece of paper okay now um we now like i told you the hd wallet is a wallet that allows you to create a wallet having access to all the available networks on the blockchain well as much as the one that you know token pocket has you know integrated so we have up to 41 of those networks okay so you can choose to select the ones that you think you will be transacting with i mean or you could choose to select all of them because you could choose to create other wallets on different networks much later it's up to you you can either do it now or do it later so for me I'm going to just check all the networks, all the networks, 41 of them. Okay, right. So we got 41 over 41 and we say next. All right. So wallet has been cre generated. We have to wait a moment to see. All right. Now it tells us wallets are ready. Okay. So we just click on confirm and voila, that's it. So we have a HD wallet on different networks so how do we know this now come to the top left corner here and we'll be able to see um the different networks that we have wallets on so right here in this column we see the different networks that we have okay so we have ethereum we have binance smart chain we have bitcoin all at the way at the top uh, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Tron, Polygon Matic, Abitrum, Optimism, what, what, what? So much, so many of them. All right. So now you could choose. If, for example, if you if we access the Ethereum wallet, okay, we can add coins or rather different cryptocurrencies to this wallet by clicking here that says plus, okay. So once we click that, we'll be able to search for and add new tokens. Okay, so just refresh the page by swiping downwards and we're going to see all the networks or coins, you know, display. All right. So we have now all these coins you see here, friends, are coins that run on Ethereum network. So if you see a USDT here. It is no doubt a USDT that runs on Ethereum network. All right. If you see USDT here, just hold on. It's still loading. Okay. It's still loading. All right. So if you see this USDT right here, it means it is a USDT ERC20. So that's the the uh, um, network code, the ERC20. All right. So this is a an ethereum and a usdt running on ethereum network so usd is a stable coin that runs on different networks it runs on tron runs on binance smart chain runs on ethereum runs on heckle runs on several other chains okay so to add wallets uh coins to our wallet we could just you know select from here we could just tap on the ones we need or well, we need matic uh we need the uh, sheep the um, us we need ave oh, no what else where's the usdt okay search again search for usdt usdt and we add this one as well sorry 
add on the top. So, so you see the one I'm adding I'm clicking on this you know plus icon on this plus icon here okay that's how I'm adding all right so once we're done adding all the desired coins that we have or that we needed and then we can just add sand as well okay so we go back and we see that all the coins we've added are going to display on the main page now all these coins are on ethereum network which means they use one address okay so let's see for example for ethereum if we click on receive to receive ethereum you notice that the last you notice that the last of uh, five digits is uh, right numbers are seven nine six f six nine seven nine six f six nine so let's check another coin and see for ourselves so let's see usdt for example so we want to receive usdt did you notice that is the same address the same address that was for ethereum that we still have so why is that it's simply because all of these coins are running on ethereum network all are running on. so if you're sending usdt for example it's just gonna select usdt and deposit it to the ethereum network you've sent it to okay now the same thing goes for um binance smart chain okay if you add any coin to this area all the coins tokens will be having the same address so this is basically how to create um you know a wallet address or a wallet on uh, using token pocket okay and all these different um, networks can be assessed by you you can you know create them and all of that and now you, you perhaps you're looking for how to access your private key so remember this is one HD wallet but has several wallets in it corresponding to the different networks that are here okay so to check out your wallet you want to click on any of this any of this and then you go to details this is for the ethereum network this is for the ethereum network so to get to the main wallet to go to the main wallet you all right so this is for ethereum network to get to the main wallet you would uh, go to me your profile and you click on manage wallets all right so these are the different wallets on your hd wallet okay so to get your to get your sorry to get your hd wallet and the private key you click here okay so let's go back again so you go to your profile here go to your profile here okay and you click and you select manage wallets okay and then you click and then you come here where you select the three dots you click and you say manage hd wallet okay manage hd wallet and then you're going to see export secret recovery phrase so this is where you'll be able to have access to your recovery phrase in case you want to do so all right so it's always best to write it down earlier before starting so um in the next videos this is just a video on how to create and manage token pocket um, your, your cryptocurrency wallets using token pocket we're going to look at sending transactions on this wallet and much more later but on the on the other videos you'll be able to see how you can securely store your private key so we just all we did was just write it down on a piece of paper so how can we securely you know store this the best way the most effective way to do so so watch out for the other videos to learn that okay Thank you so much. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, click on the like 
button click on subscribe as well so you can continue receiving more content from us thank you and have a lovely day